All right, there, guys. I got my load. Now let me see. This is what you gonna see right here. Pour it in here. Got that big old den up there. And got the hose hanging right there. It's you, so I'm quite sure they don't know, but let's go ahead and check. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta cover your behind for doing this. See a little bunch of chips right there. On top of the bed. Window not cracked. Uh, in here. Gas yeah, on the front. Gas yeah, on the front right there. Sun boy. Oh, you going on this side, make sure. Ain't nothing jacked up. Bed up there on the top. We go gash in the tire. And back around the passenger side, looking up at the scrapes and stuff. So gotta do a little CYA. Cover your A. Show, show y'all how to chain this thing. Thank you. 
make sure my things ain't loose. Pretty much how you do it. Exit there. You want to have it pulled forward, and I mean, well, for the front part of my trailer, you want to have it pulling down and back. When I mean back, I mean back towards my rig. So back towards that way. You want to have it down and back. <clears throat> Here, same thing here, down and back. This part here, because since it's articulate, they don't have the the stop thing here to keep it from twisting back and forth. So this is why you do cross, cross, cross it here, pull it back. Same thing on the other side with that chain right there. And then for this half of the unit right here, this part, you have it going that way so you, that's down and forward this piece right here will go down and back towards my rig this will go down and forward towards the back of the trail now the back part this is why I wish I had the D-rings up on this part here for this all I could do is down I should be good though I got more than what DOT required on it. So, there you have it. There you have it.
Thank you.